Hi everybody! Oh no, this is going to be quite annoying because I've, I've just got a new camera if you didn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram. I just got the new G7X and I've never had like a screen above it before. So I'm really sorry in advance if I'm constantly looking at myself because I'm not amazing but I am amazed by what I see. Not me. <laughs> So this week's Trip Talk Tuesday is just a little update. It is passing so quick. I think, I don't, can't work out whether it's because it's a surprise um, that it's passing quick because we can't really talk about it in front of the kids. Um, or it's just that we are so crazy busy that it's just zooming by. Um, but either way, it is going fast. Since we last spoke, we have... What have we done? We have booked Lanuba. Alex and Zach are going to see Lanuba. Um, I don't think it's something that half will be able to sit through just yet. So um, it's just them two that are going to that. I think what we will probably do on that night is just hang around downtown Di Disney Springs. Because I think it looks such amazing and I cannot wait, really honestly, cannot wait to go see it in real life. I know we was there last year um, and it was looking awesome. It was not even nearly finished. Like where all the buses are and stuff now, that was just like, just all been demolished and just all rubble. And yeah, I cannot wait to go see Disney Springs in person. I just think it's gonna be just an amazing place. And I think we'll probably end up going a lot more than we used to, to be honest. There was nothing wrong with downtown Disney before, but it just didn't do anything for me. I don't know what it was. I just didn't think it was anything special. I was just not impressed by it, I suppose. Um, but I'm really, imp I'm already really impressed. I was impressed last year. Do you remember last year when we went in that car park and I thought it was the most amazing car park in the world? Yeah, this sign here looks says there's that many spaces on them levels. And then it says something about above the beaters, they'll let up green if they're available or something. But there's 259 on this level. So, yeah. And there you go, it says there's 20 that way. Oh yeah, that's real cool. Go that way, go right. Right. Yeah. Ah. Ah. And then they're ah, up above them. Look, look. Yeah, then they're up above them in green. <gasps> this is the world's best car park ever, look! This car park is pretty cool. Go on here. Go on here, go on here. Yum! Look, can I get in there? You can. Do you want any more down here? Oh, no, reverse you back. Tell me when I'm. Go back then. No, that's what I'm saying. Well, go in there then. I'll just go around the other side. Go in there. Go back. This is going to look so cool when it's finished, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It is, yeah. No, it is though, really. It is, really, yeah. That's what Planet O is going to look like. I was amazed by the car park, so I'm going to be amazed by the amazing, lovely, pretty, beautiful water um, and the springs that are running through it and yeah, I can't wait, I cannot wait. So what else have we been doing? We have paid the cruise off that was paid. I mentioned in my last one, I was very, very, very happy um, this time that we didn't end up booking it through an agent because of the crash in the dollar. Now, that could have happened, it might not have happened, we don't, we, we don't know, but because the booking was on such a whim, like we just decided one day to just do it. I had a quick look, mentioned it to Alex how much it was, Literally, like within a second, he was on the computer booking it. So we didn't even have time to go through an agent this time. Um, going through an agent was great last time, to be honest with you, because it was the first time. We didn't really know anything. Um, we didn't know what to do, when to do it, what to book, whether to book anything, like what, we didn't know anything. Um, and Deb at Travel on a Dream was amazing. She helped us out so, so much. Um, so if you haven't yet gone on a Disney cruise and you want to go on a Disney cruise, um, I would highly recommend booking through an agent to begin with. Um, she like flagged, like obviously 
she's like a travel agent so she flagged up on her own calendar i imagine when things can be booked like when the night days was and when we can book this and when we can book that and when we can check in and just just like prompt you when your parents and all stuff like that and it's a really 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 good prompt now normally over in britain over in the uk if we was to go through a travel agent it would cost us a lot more from experience it could cost a lot more than it would be to do it yourself um the good thing about booking through an agent on the disney cruise is that there is not there is no difference in price there's absolutely no difference in price whatsoever the price on the disney cruise though there wasn't when i booked um i very much doubt that's right that's that's changed because i think if i remember rightly last year something came out about disney cruises that like nobody get like they have to be the disney cruise price um that there's no undercut in there's no it has to be that price um the plus with booking an agent as well is that you get um on board credits um i think last year we maybe got about 50 50 dollars credit or something like that um obviously we've lost out on that this year because we didn't go through an agent but again i would not hesitate going through an agent again it was just a very 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 quick decision trip this year um that we just didn't have time to go through an agent to be honest with you no price difference however it is in dollars so if you're happy like with the dollar rate now and the price that they give you and the, the exchange rate and stuff now i can't i'm no i'm no like money boffin person or anything like that but i can't see it really going much lower than it is now um so if you're happy with it now then i would probably book with with an agent like each to their own i suppose but just remember that if you are booking through a US agent in particular, no idea what the British agents are like, to be honest with you. Like, if you were to go into Thomas Cook and want to book a thing, I imagine it would be, again, the Disney price, probably in pounds. But if you were to book through a US agent, it would be in US dollars. Um, so just be aware of that and the exchange rate and stuff. But it's a it's a mass i would i would highly recommend it especially if you are a first timer um you have somebody there on hand who is totally experienced she's brilliant um she knows everything about the disney cruise and the disney cruise line and stuff um and yeah she's there on the other end of email on the phone i imagine if you ring i don't know if she skypes i don't know but she's so quick at answering your questions as well she's she is awesome i can't praise her enough um if you are wanting to get in touch with her then i will put a link down below um, make sure you tell her that we sent you and she, i promise you she will she will sort you out so yeah we paid the cruise off um we are this year silver <laughs> i need to get the dog some socks we are silver um, castaway members. I think that's what they call it. Will you just stand still, mister? We are silver castaway. This year, because it's our second cruise, we are silver castaway club members, I think it's called. Um, I'm not really sure what the pros and cons are, apart from being able to check in um, I think it was like a week before everybody else. So we could check, we checked in, we uploaded the kids' details for the kids' club so they've already got that. We also booked some princess meet and greets, um, frozen meet and greets. There's no other meet and greets that we need to book, it was just the princess ones that were, you need to book them now because they are so popular. So that's what we, that's the only thing we've booked. I wanted to book like, I've heard that they do like gingerbread houses and little Christmas things. It is going to be like the first maritime Christmas cruise of 2016. So I wanted to book like Christmassy stuff, um, even if it's meeting Santa or something. And they don't, they don't actually do anything like that. Apparently, I've been told that you have to book when you get there and when you get on the cruise boat. So I'm hoping cruise boat. It's because I'm thinking I'm talking to the kids when you actually get on the ship um so i'm hoping i really do have my fingers crossed that there'll be no issue in getting anything that we want um at any point throughout the holiday um 
I am a little bit worried. I don't really particularly want to get on the cruise and go queuing up for hours just to get out of the, just to build the gingerbread house or to meet Santa. I, I, I wish, I really, really, really wish we could have booked it prior to stepping foot on the ship, but they don't do that, so there's not a lot I can do about it. I just, as I say, hope that we don't have any issues in wanting to, in being able to, to do some activities, some Christmassy stuff and whatnot, so, Fingers crossed. I ordered myself a new passport. Um, very only literally like in the last couple of weeks. It actually came on Tuesday. Um, it didn't take long at all. Um, seventy odd quid, like seventy two pound fifty. It didn't look any different to my other one. I thought I might, I might be like one of the first ones to get a non EU one, even though I know we're still in the EU, but we're not. But we are. Um, but no, it's the same, same red boring one. We also paid the holiday off. The holiday was due, so we paid that off. Nothing really special happened there. Just paid it off, rang the credit card, and not really to tell you on that. Um, I did actually ask them to quote me up on upgrading the dining plan because I just wanted to see, just out of interest, how much it would be to have a few more sit-down meals. Um, it wasn't worth it. It was like 700, 800 pound, and when we worked it out, it was not worth it. It, it just wasn't. Um, as I said before, we've got the, we are staying on site in a value, so we get a free breakfast, which is actually just one quick service meant, one quick service credit, so it doesn't necessarily have to be used at breakfast, it could be used at lunch, um, so chances are we will be going, mostly going to big breakfasts, big Disney character breakfasts, um, and probably having something to eat using that credit maybe like mid-afternoon um, we probably won't sit down if we sit down for one meal today we're not going to sit down for every meal so it was just not worth it it was just not worth it at all um, we wouldn't have paid 700 and odd pound for well, we just wouldn't really because I think the 700 pound actually 700 and odd pound was I think the 700 pound added Bear in mind, we already got one free. We already got one credit free. I think the £700 give you... Yeah, the, se the £700 was just for literally the quick dining. So then you get two quick service meals, one snack and one refillable mug. And to me, for what we've got now, for a mug each, which I don't particularly want Zach drinking Coke and stuff all the way through the holiday. Um, and one snack that would probably cost like five dollars ice lolly something like that we won't get anything startling anything more i know you can look and see which is most expensive to get the best value for money and all that lot but we'll probably just end up with an ice lolly and another quick service meal that we probably wouldn't we would use i'm sure we would use it if we had it but as i say i'm happy with getting a big i'm happy with getting a big breakfast one quick service meal later on in the afternoon because we will be stuffed um we always are when we've had a big breakfast and just a snack later on and for 700 pound in my opinion did not work out right for one extra meal one snack per person and a refillable mug each and that's not even including harper either that's just three of us no so i passed on that one i said thanks but no thanks we are due to book and i'm filming this before we go to wembley but it will go out after we've been to wembley we are due to book our fast passes on route well not on route we will be booking them on route but come wembley day that is when our fast passes become available so that's pretty much what i'll be doing for the whole journey down to london i reckon it's starting on fast passes alice has got it all written down i'll show you he has it all written down everything you need love Magic Kingdom, Fast Passes, Talking Mickey, what else we got? Talking Mickey, Mickey shall I go through them for you? I might as well, aren't I? I'm sure you'll be interested. If you're watching this, you're obviously interested in Disney, so if you're not, then feel free to skip ahead. Magic Kingdom, we will be Fast Passing, Talking Mickey, Tinkerbell. Um, what a bit of it. We also need to book Harper's haircut in. That's one thing we need to do. And I'm, again, really sorry for looking at that screen and not at you guys, but, yeah, I'm quite... Yes, that's what we need to do. We need to get a hair booked in. Um, Zach had his first haircut in Magic Kingdom. Of course, we have to do Harper's the same. I'm guessing that's probably around the first past time that we can actually book that, so I really need to get on with that ASAP. 
um again magic kingdom it wants to do aladdin dumbo and seven dwarfs um in the morning because then we were leaving in the afternoon we'll be leaving in after the parade um we've got be our guests at lunchtime on that day so we're going to do the fast passes in the morning be our guests at lunchtime downtown disney in the afternoon um i think this is day two or something like that and i oh no, actually yeah i think it's day two um and then we will be hopefully that was the other thing as well i didn't mention last time we've been reading and trying to get gauge some information on when planet hollywood will be opening up or reopening up and um, so we are hoping it's going to be at the end of october that's what we've been told and um, so fingers crossed on that second day we may end up going to planet hollywood um it's got a warm out on there as well but you're not really that interested in that yet uh, day three, who's put the Frozen after, Ever After, Anna and Elsa and Test Track. Um, oh no, that's what we think we'll be doing first thing because we are in early on that day three. We are in for Akashush at eight o'clock in the morning. Again, I'm sure that's not how you say it. I'm really sorry. Um, Fast Passes, he's got Soarin', Character Spot on the Seas. And we've got Beaches and Cream on the evening and obviously Illuminations on the night. Day four... Um, extra magic hours in Animal Kingdom, he tells me. We will be doing Dinosaur and Everest during the extra magic hours. We have Tusker House at half past nine so we can get some rides done before we go to breakfast. Um, Lion King, is, is, I think Animal Kingdom is going to be one of the days that we are going to struggle with. Uh, he was telling me the other day that although it's close to our resort so we can just pop, you don't just pop, do you? Because you have to walk like 50 million miles from the car park. He's really crammed in on this day three or day four. I'm going to lose days, so I'm sorry. Um, so we've got Cali, Disney Pals and Everest in the afternoon. Then we've got Nemo on the night. We've got Lion King in the morning. Um, he's then got us going to the Magic Kingdom Resort Hotels and watching Wishes from the Beach of the Grand Floridian, I think. We want to go see it from this time. After this year's trip, if we do end up watching it from the Grand Floridian, it will mean we have watched Wishes from every resort. Um, we've watched it from the obviously bay Lake towers on our balcony we have watched it from polly when we got engaged back in 2005 I want, no seven 2007 we watched it on the beach of the polly um and then obviously this time alex said he wants to watch it because i think he saw a tim tracker video not that long ago it looked amazing the view looks absolutely amazing um and compared to how we saw it in um from be our be our guest from Baylick Towers, I do think it's better. I honestly think the view was better from the like, from like the boat area of the Grand Floridian um, than Baylick, really 100% it looked better. So I'm really looking forward to that. The following day, we would be going to Disney Hollywood Studios, extra mag magic hours in the morning. We would be doing Toy Story and Rock and Roller Coaster. Fast Passes has got us getting um, Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster again, and Disney Junior. Um, Fantasmic on the night of that. The following day, has got us going to... Oh, that's the night that we go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So it's got us doing some resorts, the, the pool, and Magic Kingdom. We already have tickets in addition to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so we can actually go in early on that day. So we think we're probably going to go in maybe between 12 and 2. We're not really sure yet. Um, we'll just play it by ear, but I do want to get in there early. The following day is got us going to do Characters in Flight at Disney Springs, which will be amazing. Um, can't wait to see it all from up there. Then go back across to to Typhoon Lagoon and go back to Lanuba because that's Lanuba night and then do Rainforest Cafe on the evening um, of that day. Following day he's got us going back to Animal Kingdom. In the morning it's extra magic hours so we were going to try and cram in every safari in Cali. Um, we then plan to go back to the hotel pool. Alex wants to do bay races again with the kids on Bay Lake Tower on Bay Lake Lake thing um so we'll probably end up going there and then going back into magic kingdom because we want to go see the kiss good night um can't believe we've never seen that before the amount of times that we've been but honestly i've been that shattered that i've not even wanted to stay till midnight i would like to see it it's going to be a long day it's going to be a late night um but i'm sure it'll be worth it i don't think the kids will be awake for it um 
but yeah we'll see and the fast passes of that will be mad tea party speedway and probably bud we've also got chef mickey's at five and wishes at nine so we'll be in and out of the park around there it won't be such a hectic crazy park you know evening following day's got us going shopping mm, i don't know why he wants to do it he wants to go to premium outlets florida mall cypress grove mall at millennia premium outlets north and city walk right that's a that's a busy day a busy traveling day now my opinion we would just do premium outlook south um cypress grove mall at millennia to go to the um cheesecake factory and probably city walk i'm not that fussed about florida mall zach alex wants to go because he wants to go to five guys i'm not that bothered i don't do anything at the malls like i don't particularly buy expensive things from bloomingdale's or wherever like macy's i don't do i don't do them departments i don't do them in england i'm not going to go to america and do them i don't do them um so i don't I, i'm not that i'm not that interested in malls like that i like your outlets i like your little bargain places and steals and things like that I, yeah i'm not sure i'll get him to change his mind but Mm. following day he's got us going to epcot by the looks of it extra magic hours again tough to be a book prime evil prime evil well everest oh no that's animal kingdom what am i talking about following day he's got us going back to animal kingdom extra magic hours again tough to be a book prime evil well whirl everest dinosaur um then once we've been there by the looks of it he's then gone got us going to epcot character spot the seas and then sawing because we've got via napoli on the evening of that day following day we've got cape may breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning uh, fast passes it looks like it's got us going into hollywood studios again fast passes tower of terror toy story star wars fantasmic on the evening of that the following day has got us going to see the magic kingdom opening show which will be very interesting if we get that because we didn't get to see it at all last year um there is only us four that we need to get sorted to be fair we don't have to wait for anybody else this year there is only just us four going so it might be a little bit easier um but yeah we missed it last year um i think we got there for for opening one time but we got there opening an hour later because we read the times wrong or the times had changed or something like that so we did technically get there on one of the days but we were an hour late um he's got us going to see cinderella the fast passes on that day would be seven dwarfs under the sea and ariel um and we've also got whispering canyon on the evening of that night and then that's it that's all he's got so that must be the last night and then the following day is when we go to the cruise um four days after that is when we come back and we are actually staying at the rosen inn that's the other thing what we've done we've booked the rosen inn on international drive at point orlando we've stayed there before it's amazing i mean i say it's amazing it's ideal that's what it is it's absolutely ideal it's clean it's tidy it's it's just it's ideal um it's got a little playground for the kids it's got like three pools at least three pools um it's like a motelly hotelly type thing i know that's not a word but i won't say it's a motel and i won't say it's a hotel it's like an a, in between really and it's just going to be ideal it was about 40 pound a night um we've booked two nights because we are coming back from the cruise and we will be getting back to, into Orlando probably around 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and it's not the best time because we won't be able to check in while four. Come four o'clock, we want to be at least at Magic Kingdom by four o'clock because of the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party that we've got booked. Um, so we ideally need to be, as soon as we get into Orlando, we need to be in a room. We need to, we need a room and we need to be in it and we need to be getting sorted. Um, so we booked two nights so technically it's only it's only one night but technically it's two because we'll be we'll be checking in early um 40 pound a night i couldn't really go wrong with that the following day after mickey's very merry christmas party is it will be our last day and we intend to do i intend to do i don't think i've told alex this but the big willy i mean the big wheel yeah if you watch our other videos you'll understand that um 
Orlando Eye. 100% because it opened last year when we were there and we didn't have a chance to do it. I again want to go to Miller's Ale House again. I, I'm, I'm never going to let it down. I'm never going to let them live it down. The fact that I said, however many times, every time we drove past that Miller's Ale House on the 192 last year, I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to go there. It was the last night that they said, okay, let's go there, right? And every single one of them loved it. You could have had it five times. You could have had it five times. So yeah, I'll definitely, definitely, we'll definitely be going back to Miller's Ale House, but the, obviously the international drive one, as that's closer. Um, I'm not sure, we'll probably be doing Crazy Golf, um, Pirates Crazy Golf, because that's quite cool on international drive again. And that's probably about it. Um, I did have all intentions of checking in at downtown Disney, but I don't think we're going to do that now. I don't think we're going to get rid of the bags. I think it's probably just why we leave the bags at Point Orlando, at Rosen Inn, until we're ready to go, then go back to the room, or, or go back to the resort. They, they hold them for us throughout the day. There's no point in us lugging all the cases in the, in the car, taking all the cases like five miles down the road or whatever it is, it's a bit more than that. 20 minutes down the road to downtown Disney to pay to check in at Virgin. Um, and then I come all the way. It's just it's just a waste of time. Um, so although we've done it before, we've used the Virgin check-in before, I don't think we're going to be using it this year. It's just, there's no point. We're nearly there at the airport as well. We're close to the airport at Rosen Inn than we were at Disney. And yeah, it's I, I think it's just pointless. I think that's just about it to be fair like this update um oh i forgot to say hertz right this is the first time we've booked through hertz this year right hertz have promised us an upgrade to a merc they haven't really directly promised me an upgrade to a merc but they've pretty much promised me an upgrade to a merc so, I'm so if I don't get an upgrade to a mare, right, all hell is going to break loose. I'm only joking. Um, they're so friendly, Hertz. Like, their interaction, like, mainly on the Twitter and stuff. And it, it's just, it's really good. It's really good. They retweet people and they respond to you. And so far, so good for Hertz. I would, would definitely give them a thumbs up so far. And I, we haven't even got the car yet. So I really hope they don't disappoint. I don't think they will. Um, I am expecting, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, we booked a premium, I think. We booked a premium or a luxury. Can't quite remember. Um, so it'll be a decent car. Um, if we get a Merc, then that's amazing. Can't really win. We might just end up giving it back. Like, I'm sure the luxury, <laughs> joking hell no but yeah so far so good i am very impressed with them um and i would already highly recommend them if you haven't already sorted your car hire out um i think that's everything then for this week it's i hope you enjoy and i'm i'm sorry again for admiring myself in the in in my new little camera window thing instead of looking at you guys i'm i am sorry about that i need to get used to that um I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. And we shall see you again tomorrow, actually, for another What We've Done Wednesday. Come back, right? Yeah, deal. I'll make sure. I'll check. Come back. Bye, everyone.